Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing and testing diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club. A few weeks ago I pulled out a diamond painting that I did a video of uh, an unbagging and uh, got ready to uh, start working on it. Took the cover off, set it up with release paper, set up the drills, got everything ready and I started to work on it. When I started to work on it I realised that the glue on the canvas wasn't as sticky as it should be. The release paper stuck but the drills, as soon as I touched the drills they just moved, uh, they weren't sticking. So basically all of the glue uh, was weak to say the least and I thought okay how do I fix this? And I started browsing the internet looking for ways um, to solve the problem and I had seen three different products and I was still trying to decide which one I was going to try, which one I thought would work the best and just at that time Diamond Art Club released their own uh, canvas adhesive which is exactly for the sort of thing that was happening to me I had a canvas and the glue just wasn't sticky enough. So I ordered it and it arrived and this is how it arrived in the good old Diamond Art Club box. This is the same outer box that you would get with a diamond painting, obviously a bit smaller. Um, so it just has the Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle, register trademark, diamondartclub.com, uh, Instagram at Diamond Art Club. Facebook Diamond Art Club. So um, it's uh, pretty easy to find them on social media. So this is the box. Um, as you can see, um, it is a bit bashed. It's uh, definitely seen better days. The other side is the same. Um, it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. Um, I'm hoping that the adhesive is in a box inside, just like they do with the diamond paintings. So I haven't opened it, so we'll find out. Now I'm imagining that the box is much bigger than the actual glue. But I take it this must be the smallest size of a branded box that Diamond Art Club do. Paper all over the place. <coughs> so just cut along the seal. This is the super reinforced uh, stuff. I'm not sure if Time Dark Club did this or if it was customs. Uh, taking a little bit of effort to get through. That's it. And from the open side. So, apart from the little bit of cardboard. I've just got a shipping receipt in the box, but that is it. So for this size of box, we get this size of box. So uh, no no paper padding or anything inside. So basically this has just been rattling, rattling around inside the box. It is a little bit out of shape. <coughs> A little bit dense. It's taped to either end. So it's actually a bit like the uh, the diamond painting boxes. It's got that sort of holographic thing going on. So again, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Same again on the top, other side, and it says diamond painting adhesive non-toxic, 4 ounces or 120 ml. And a little bit in the back. So it says, this glue is designed to make the adhesive on your diamond painting canvas sticky again. 
For best results, apply a thin coat of the adhesive onto the desired area and let it dry until clear and tacky. Start applying rhinestones and reapply the glue as needed for continued tackiness. Clean up any excess or spillages immediately with water. So water-based adhesive that is non-toxic, so that is good. Let's see what's inside the actual box. So we have the bottle and we have a little applicator. So See, nothing different really. Um, this glue is designed to make the adhesive on your diamond painting canvas sticky again. Um, for the te for best results, apply a thin coat. It's exactly the same instruction. Warning: Keep away from children. This product is not meant to be ingested. Precautions for use: Avoid contact with skin and eyes. Okay. Not suitable for zero to three years old. So I'll open that up. I take it there's a seal. Yeah, there's a seal on the top. So take the seal off. So it's a white pasty looking glue. I'll put the lid back on before I spill it. So it's actually white. So I take it that once you put it on, um, as it dries, it turns clear. Um, the thing is, when I saw this initially, I was thinking, why are Diamond Art Club um, selling canvas adhesive? Because Diamond Art Club have a 100% um, product guarantee. If you find any faults with anything, they'll replace the kit for free. Then I thought, okay, it's unlikely that you would get a canvas um, like the one I, I'm going to do um, from Diamond Art Club. It's very unlikely that you would get poor quality glue. You may get a dead spot. I've never had it on any of their kits, but it does happen. So I thought, okay, maybe it's if you get a dead spot and you've been working on your diamond painting for weeks or months, then suddenly you hit an area and you find out the glue isn't sticky. Maybe that's what that is for. And then I thought, maybe it's actually for other kits. If, you, if you've bought kits from other companies and you have problems with the glue, um, maybe they're thinking that you could use this. So rather than guessing, I actually emailed um, Diamond Art Club yesterday. I think it was 10 past 6 in the morning before I went to work and I got a reply 7 minutes later which I was very surprised about and they confirmed that the glue is intended for all of those purposes if you've been working on a diamond painting kit uh, if it's a diamond art club and you hit a dead spot um, and you don't want to do the whole kit again you could be weeks, maybe even months into working on it and the last thing you want to do is start all over again. So you could use it for that. They also said it's perfect if you get a kit from another company and the glue just doesn't up to scratch, you can use this to fix it. So that is what I am going to do. Um, underneath here, as always, there is a diamond painting and it's the one with the faulty glue. So, um, this is what I've got so far. I'll put this glue out of the way and make sure I stand it up. I don't want it spilling. So this is what I had done. Um, this is how I set up my uh, canvases. I always take the, the top cover off that comes with the kit. Uh, it doesn't matter how big it is. I remove the whole thing and uh, I replace it with release paper. So I was getting ready to start this. The uh, the release paper stuck to the glue, I didn't really think anything about it. So I, I peeled the first section off and I went to start it. 
and I found that the drills, as soon as I touched a drill, it just moved all the time. Um, then I realised the glue actually wasn't that sticky. So I tried uh, rubbing it with baby wipes to see if that would bring the stickiness back, but it didn't. So basically this has just been poor quality glue from the start, I think. So the idea today is to um, take all of the release paper off and cover the whole canvas with uh, Diamond Art Club's glue. I did ask them about that as well. I said, is it designed to be used section by section? So should I just basically lift this off, put the glue on this area, work on it, lift the next one off and then work? And they said no. They said you could take all the covers off and um, put the glue down put the covers back on once it's uh, ready and you should be able to work it as normal as it would normally work so I can have the whole canvas covered and I don't need to reapply as I go um, so we're going to give it a try um, so what I'll do initially is um, I'll take all the covers off you can hear that actually sounds like it's sticky but it's not sticky enough so I haven't actually seen this canvas for a while it's just been sitting aside while I try to decide what to do with it as I said I was looking at three different products that I found online and uh, I wasn't really sure which one to try and then I saw Diamond Art Club had brought out their own glue and I thought I'm definitely interested in that because Diamond Art Club are well known for producing high quality products so I thought okay if I was going to try anybody uh, Diamond Art Club probably would be the first one okay so that is the canvas now I need to work out how to do this so I'll have a look at the can I get rid of that glue? yes that's a bit better so open the little package now I have no idea what I'm doing here so it's a it's not actually a brush it's a little piece of rubber so I take it I just put it on and just spread the glue and Hopefully I don't make a mess. I've no idea how much to put on. So this is educational for me. Hopefully it's educational for other people and hopefully it works. So I'm thinking where will I start? I'll just uh, apply some. As I said, I have no idea how much to put on, so I'll just put a big blob. And then I'm just going to spread it. Make sure I get to the edge. Now I have no idea if this is too thick or not. But it does say just reapply. I'm getting some on the, the mats, but it doesn't matter. It's water based, so I can wash that off. So uh, what I'm doing is taking the white ridges that are obviously too much and just trying to spread it out a bit more. Feels weird though, um, I thought it was actually a brush because I'm sure this is a brush applicator. It's actually just uh, sort of rubber. I'm glad I didn't get a very big diamond painting like this, so it's going to take a bit of time. So I don't know how long it takes to set. I have a feeling I'm putting on too thick. Though. I think really it's intended more for small areas. If you had a dead spot, you've just got a few drills and a dead patch. 
Whereas with this one, it's the whole canvas. So, just trying to spread it as evenly as I can. It's a bit better. But I mean, you can see how much this is covered. I didn't put that much down. Just spreading it. So I think this bottle would actually do quite a big area or quite a few small areas if you get uh, sort of dry patches. I'm starting to think I should have just done one little patch but the thing is I, wa I want to see if I can do the whole canvas with it. So I'm just going to have to grin and bear it I suppose. This is going to be a longer video than I thought. It's just when I see these white areas I'm thinking that must be too thick. Yeah, I can see it's wet. looking a bit more even. I'd be interested if anybody has used this, um, what they found, like how well did it work. We just did it like that instead of a big blob. Again, making sure I get to the edges. But the thing is, if I do miss anything, it doesn't really matter because I can come back and put a new piece on. It says you can reapply it, so I can see that's what I'm probably going to do. I feel I should have like a big brush, a big paintbrush to do this. Move the cover back a bit. So the plan basically is to do this, hopefully clear up, and come back once I've finished it. Don't see the point in forcing people to watch this. Um, so I'll just work on this until I've got it all done. I'll let it dry, or cure, or whatever they call it. And I'll try diamond painting. So, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time. But I can do that. And... Uh, I'll come back when it's finished and we can see how it looks when it's, uh, when it's set and then I will start working in the bottom section um, as I normally would and see how things go. I'll also cover it with uh, release paper and try peeling the sheets off and see if everything still seems okay. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay so I have fully covered the canvas. Um, I'm finding it really hard to try and get it to go even um, because the applicator, as I said, it isn't actually a brush, it's just a uh, rubber. So I feel as if I'm just pushing the glue here and then there and uh, I keep getting these white build-ups. So I've done as best as I can and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for a bit and I'm wondering if the, the white disappears as it cures. So only one way to find out, we'll wait. So I went away for maybe an hour, I think, just left it and was quite surprised when I came back. As you can see, all the white areas have totally gone. The canvas, uh, or the glue I should say, is perfectly clear. Uh, I was a bit worried, I thought I'd put it on too thick and I was going to have white streaks on it, but everything looks absolutely fine. So. What I want to do now is put the release paper back on 
Um, so I'll just show how I do it. Um, I normally start my picture in the bottom right hand corner. So when I put the release paper down, I'll work it backwards. So I would put the first piece down here. And then slight overlap. Next piece. Next piece. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting them down in reverse order. So I start here and then work back. So Basically I'm just getting it set up to what it was like before I started. And hopefully we have sticky glue. So the release papers are sticking down fine on it. And then we end up with the little sort of square section that I started off with. And just put that over. So that's it. Release paper. I'll put it down again and ready to start diamond painting. So I'll adjust the camera. We'll have a close up look and I'll try placing some drills and we'll see if uh, Diamond Art Club have saved this diamond painting. Okay, so now I am set up to diamond paint. I decided rather than just having that little square um, that I had in the corner, I would remove the next sheet of release paper as well, so it's a bit more to see. Um, a lot of this is going to be the same colour, good old 310 or black. Um, <clears throat> but I thought I would start it the way I normally start. Um, I will be using tweezers. Uh, I use tweezers all the time now. And uh, I really like these ceramic tipped ones. So normally the way that I work it, and it really doesn't matter as long as the, the correct colour goes in the correct square, it's right. But the way that I tend to work is I start with whatever is in the bottom right hand corner. So that happens to be number 39. I've already poured some in the tray. So just a matter of uh, placing them. These are a bit scattered. But um, I, just, I just thought I'd show how I work. Some people would maybe look at it and say, well, there's a lot of black here. I'll do all the black first. I mean, it's really up to you. There's no hard and fast rule. Um, so just doing these. Now, when I did this first, if I <coughs> with the glue that was originally on it, if I touched a drill with the tweezers, it, it moved as if there was no glue. Um, it was just enough to hold the release paper. I didn't realise anything was wrong until I actually started trying to diamond paint. I'm pretty sure if I had lifted the canvas upright, um, the drills would have just fallen off. Um, it was so bad. So, I mean, normally I would say if you get a, a canvas like that, that you just find that there's no way these drills are going to stick. Maybe give it a try, wipe it with a baby wipe and let it dry, see if the stickiness comes back. It might work. Um, I tried that with this one, it didn't work. So basically the glue just wasn't really any good. I did contact the company, I told them what had happened, I asked if they could uh, send a replacement and that was uh, quite a while back and they never ever replied. So I guess the answer was no. Um, I'm absolutely certain that if this, this had been a Diamond Dark Club canvas and I had that problem, um, they would have sent a new canvas, uh, no questions asked. So. Anyway, as I said, it just happened I was looking for something to try and fix it and Diamond Art Club just happened to release their glue and I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a try. I have to admit when I was doing it, I thought I am making a complete mess of this. It, it looked as if I couldn't get rid of the white bit, so I was trying to make it even. But the little brush, like I said, it isn't a brush, it's just a piece of uh, rubber. 
I just feel that if it had been a brush, it would have been easier to spread, but maybe there's a reason that it's rubber, I don't know. Um, but after saying that, it turns out that even the, the parts that looked white um, went clear. So it looks fine. I mean, the, cam the canvas looks fine. You wouldn't know that I'd uh, put any extra glue on top. So um, if you do decide um, to get some of this, um, don't worry if you see um, sort of white bits that look thicker than the rest. Um, they also said that if you find it over time, you get to a part and it's, it's, the stickiness is gone again, you can reapply the glue. So if you find maybe you've missed a part, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I did miss a part in this. Um, you can always just patch it up, that little piece. I think this mainly is designed for that. It's more for areas where you have small areas that just for whatever reason have lost the tackiness and you can just fix it rather than doing what I'm doing and basically covering the whole diamond painting. Um, I think doing it like a small piece at a time um, would probably be easier. Um, but it, it looks fine. Um, so I'm going to switch on to the next colour. I think I've got that most of it anyway. So the next one is number two, which is actually colour number eight. Um, when this didn't work, what I did was um, I've got a lot of uh, good sized resealable bags that I bought and I just numbered them and put the, the drills in the bags. So I didn't have to use containers to kit up again. I'm just going to work straight from the bags, which is easy enough. 40 colours in this one. So uh, the key, I don't use a paper key. I just don't like having paper near open glue um, because if it accidentally lands on it, um, it's going to ruin the, the key. So what I do is I cut out the key from the canvas. So I have the key is separate. I use a cover minder at the bottom to give it a bit of weight so then I can just set it wherever I want and it won't move, it won't get blown by accident and even if it does touch the glue you can just lift it off. Um, <clears throat> I trim the sides off at the end anyway. I, uh, I use magnetic frames so I trim the sides completely off and I use the top and the bottom for the magnetic frame. So. All I'm doing is cutting out something that would cut off anyway. Um, I just find it an easier way. It's easy just to pick it up and move it and put it where I want. It only takes up this much space on the table. It's not like an A4 sheet of paper. So um, <clears throat> I just thought I'd mention it. That's, that's the way that I do it. I put a little cover minder on the bottom to give it a bit of weight and just put it down wherever I want. So bag number eight. Always make sure to reseal it just in case it gets knocked. Little shake. And then this is where it gets confusing when you work by numbers though, um, because on the key it is number eight, but the symbol is actually a two. Um, it can be confusing when you first start doing it. So number two. Now, as I said, I only did this much really and I noticed when I put the drills down as soon as I put the drill down the ones next to it, if I just touched them they moved. That didn't happen. They're all sitting where they should be. So we'll see what happens when I get to this little row because I remember this as well. I did the little row and then when I went to put them in between they were pushing the other drills away. It was as if there was no glue. So that hasn't happened. So I'm just looking for the number twos. No sniggering at the back, please. Oops. <coughs> just there, I got a drill stuck to the outside of the tweezer. That's because the tips touch the glue and they get sticky. So rather than try to knock it off, I just uh, moved the tweezer down a bit, 
the one that was sticking on the outside, I just put that in the screw instead. Um, it happens quite a lot once you've been using them. Um, initially I used to knock them back off in the train and I thought, why am I doing that? I'm bringing them over here anyway. Um, I did knock that one, the, the one that I picked up off, I really I shouldn't have. Uh, I put the one on the outside down and I should have just came over to the next number two, but I wasn't thinking. So, so far, um, everything seems fine. I really was worried that, um, that I had put too much glue on when I saw all those white marks. But everything went, went perfectly clear over time. Not sure how long it actually took because <coughs> I decided to go away and eat lunch while I was waiting on it. And had lunch and sat and spoke to my wife for a bit and then uh, came back and everything looked fine so I was glad to see that Oops. So these are all sort of scattered. So I think that's all the twos. Put them back. So this is the thing about um, resealable bags. If you've got resealable bags, it's easy to work just from the bags without having to buy um, some kind of con containers to uh, keep your drills in. So you haven't to spend extra money. So the next symbol is a dot, which is number twenty. So I'm just basically working on this as I would have been doing a few weeks ago if the glue had stuck. So the dot. This will actually get done quite quickly once I get onto black because a lot of it is just black. So I'll just what, set up a checkerboard uh, pattern and then go back and fill it in and that will be done. It's when you get these sort of random ones and the bigger the area you open the more you have to look. So normally I would have just worked the small square that was open but I just thought just to let you see a bit more rather than just a, a tiny little postage stamp so. but as far as the glue is concerned it just feels like normal glue which I suppose it is but um, it's definitely sticking And we'll go for dots here. Again, if this had been before, as soon as I touch the drills at the sides, they would just move. I'm not doing that now, they're definitely sticking where they should be. I can push the drills and get them exactly where I want them and it's not affecting the drills next to them and that is exactly what you want. So I would say uh, that is definitely a success. Um, the, the stickiness is pretty strong. I mean they're secure. I mean I could take them off but I mean you can do that with any uh, glue. 
because sometimes you make mistakes, put them in the wrong place, or you notice there's a defect in a drill, you, you need to be able to pick them out if, if need be. But these don't feel as if they're going to go anywhere soon, if they're just left to sit. And they haven't been pressed down yet. Um, the way that I work is I would finish this and then I would get my little uh, roller and I would just roll over it to sort of seat the drills on the glue. The reason I do that is, as I said, sometimes you maybe find there's a defect in the drill and you think I'm going to take that out. If you haven't pressed down on it, it's easier to just pick them off. Once you press on them, they sort of stick a bit uh, a bit more, they're a bit more difficult to get back out. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's really much need to do any more than this. Um, I knew once I did this, just this little tiny section here, um, it's much, much better than it was. Um, I think I'll, I'll put a link. Uh, I have got a video that showed um, how bad it was. So I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description and you can have a look if you're interested. So if you are in the position where you maybe have a dead patch on your canvas, uh, maybe you've, you've left your release paper or cover paper off for a long time and you've realised that the stickiness is gone. If you've tried baby wipes, give it a wipe with a baby wipe and let it dry again and the stickiness hasn't come back. Um, you would definitely benefit from uh, stuff like this. So, uh, yeah, it's... Again, I was a bit sort of worried when I saw all the white. I thought oh, I've put it on far too thick, but it all cured, it all went clear. So, no panic. So, that is it. Not much else I can say. So, um, yeah, all I have to do now is... Uh, do the whole diamond painting. So that was diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club. Um, as you can tell, I have never done anything like this before. I um, wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, so when I poured it and I kept seeing white streaks all the time, I thought I'm, I'm putting this on too thick and I, I kept trying to spread out so it was all clear. Turns out that isn't really uh, necessary, thankfully. Um, I did the best I could and um, I just left it for an hour. I, I don't think you need to leave it as long as that. But like I said, I went, had something to eat, came back and everything looks fine. So when I tried it, um, it's definitely 100% better than it was. Um, it feels just like starting a diamond painting. It feels like it should. Um, not like it was. So um, it definitely works. It saved uh, the diamond painting for sure. Um, I'm still a bit, I don't know, the, the applicator thing. Um, this. I found it really weird to use that. Um, I can't help feeling that a brush would help to spread the glue more evenly at least break it up rather than if you drag this along all you're doing is dragging the glue with it so you keep getting white lines at the side because the glue sort of stacks up. Um, I don't know, I think maybe there is a reason that we have this rubber instead of a brush. Um, but again, it, it worked. It, it did work. Um, if I was using it again, I wouldn't be as worried as I was um, because I thought I am really messing this up. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, I think I would feel more comfortable using a, a brush to put the glue on as long as no hairs come off the brush, maybe that's why they don't use one. Um, the other thing was I noticed um, you get the bottle and there is a little recess part as if there could be a cap, but there isn't. Um, so there's no cap for it. So it means it's it's open all the time. Um, I don't know if the glue starts to set inside the bottle or goes off. The other thing is if the bottle accidentally gets knocked over, is the glue going to run out the end? Probably, I would think. Um, it just seems kind of funny that there's no cap on that um, to keep 
know, to keep it fresh, is that the right word? But to stop air getting in um, and to stop it spilling, just a, a minor thing. But um, the other thing is, I have no idea, I'll probably email Diamond Dark Club, never thought about this, but I have no idea how long this will stay good. Could I use it on this diamond painting in six months time, maybe get another one with a dead spot and then try and use it and find out that it doesn't work? I don't know. Um, I'll email them and uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a comment in the comments um, and, and let you know what they said about shelf life. Once it's opened, how long can you expect it to be good? Um, but after saying that, uh, water soluble, non-toxic, really good. Um, it was very, very easy to clean the applicator. Just uh, ran it under a running tap, wiped it off, no problem, totally dissolved, done. Um, the glue seems really good, definitely. Um, so, as I said before, if you're in the situation where you've got a dead spot in your canvas, um, if it could be, for example, you're working on a big canvas, you've been working on it for two or three months, suddenly you've hit a little dead spot, a few places where the drills won't stick, um, this would definitely fix that problem. Um, so, uh, definitely worth a try. Um, I would, I would definitely recommend it. And I did buy it. it this isn't a, a freebie or anything. I did buy it. Um, so, yeah, if if anybody was asking me, I, w I would definitely recommend it to to fix any dead spots or any problems with the glue. The other thing is, uh, it also said that if you find that over time, if you've maybe not finished your diamond painting, you've covered parts and the stickiness is gone again, you can reapply it and then put your drills on. So um, it's not a sort of one use and that's it. Um, you can try again if it didn't work. So that is it. Uh, diamond painting adhesive from Diamond Art Club gets a thumbs up from me. Um, I would just like to know how long you can expect it to stay good um, once it's been opened. Um, and that's it. So that was something a bit different. Um, absolutely coincidental that I had decided to do this diamond painting and found out the adhesive wasn't any good. Um, I had been looking at three other products. I, wasn't, I was trying to make up my mind which one to choose. And then I just happened to see that Diamond Art Club had brought out adhesive. So I thought, yeah, definitely going to try that. So it was a success. So uh, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more unboxings, unbags, unbagsings, um, accessories, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube. Um, and you will catch me working on my latest diamond painting project, which at the moment is a diamond painting with 197 colours. It is challenging. So I think I'll be working on that one for a long time. So if you want to drop in, see what I'm working on, and maybe have a bit of a chat, please feel free. I'm always interested in meeting other diamond painters around the world, finding out um, what sort of diamond paintings they like and uh, just general chit chat, maybe talk about diamond painting, maybe talk about the weather, maybe talk about anything. Um, I am originally from Scotland, I now live in Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark and uh, when I moved here um, I found a few things that were a bit different like licorice cheese, that was different, licorice beer, licorice ice cream, the Danes like licorice. So I'm always curious to find out little bits about uh, where people live in the world, things that are a bit different. Um, I always find that interesting. So as I said, if you're interested, please subscribe, hit the notification button and you may catch me live. You will also get a notification when new videos go up as well. So uh, I've still got quite a lot to do. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.